normally, if we ever get a phone tap request from someone wanting to prank their ex, mm. it's not great news. Yeah. yeah. They're like, can you expose my cheater ex-boyfriend <laughs> for being the biggest liar on earth? Yeah. And tell him his mom sucks and he's going to die alone. <laughs> so they, they want to have a little fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We really get those requests, though. A yeah. lot of really hilarious baggage to unpack there, but... Today, we decided to actually do it. What? Because this former couple <laughs> actually gets along. Oh, okay. And they're raising a son together who's oh, in elementary sweet. school. So oh, yeah. we call the dad posing as a substitute teacher oh, no. and tell him a weird incident happened in the classroom recently. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can hear how daddy reacts in your phone oh, no. tap oh. right now. Hello? Hi, is, uh, is this Nathan's dad? This is Nathan's dad. Who is this? Hey, how's it going? I'm Mr. Paul. I'm the substitute teacher this week for Mrs. O'Connell. Okay, this is Joseph. Yeah, I How are you? I know who you are. That's why I called you. Hey, um, I need to clarify something with you. I had a little bit of a disagreement, a little situation with your son today in the classroom. Um, like what, an argument? Almost. Not quite, but uh, it was very interesting, and I think it's important enough that you should know what was said. What's it about? Well, I was teaching the kids about the solar system and the planets, and uh, little Nathan, bless his heart, (laughs) he decided to raise his hand and says, Um, excuse me, Mr. Paul, Pluto technically isn't a planet. (laughs) What? <laughs> did you uh, did you hear that? Yeah, I mean, I don't. <laughs> right? I don't, I don't so you... really appreciate the. You know, you're you're trying to imitate my son. First of all. Oh, and... my apologies. It's more about the fact that he was incorrect. I mean, that's that's why I'm calling. So you know, it raised some eyebrows coming from a teacher. Well, he wasn't incorrect. He's right. Pluto is not a planet. Oh, this is an issue at home. Uh, no, it's not an issue. He was right. Pluto's not a planet. I'm not sure why you had to call my son out like that in class. And <laughs> You're funny. Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you messing with me? Because you're technically your son called me out, and I'm the teacher. <laughs> so it's like, who's in the right? Obviously well, me. He's, well, he is right. You're wrong. Okay, well, he's in third grade, and I'm a big grown adult with a fully functioning, developed brain. Well, you're not. So I feel like me being a substitute teacher, you should probably maybe listen a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. If that came out weird, I apologize. I don't care if you're a substitute teacher or a regular teacher. You're getting your facts wrong. Okay, that's cute. Listen, I think we should do an at-home experiment. When Nathan comes back to the house, you two should go onto a website called Google. Oh my and God! If you need me to spell it for you. I can stop right there. Yeah, oh, okay. how did you? How did you even get a job there? Huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> did they just let anyone teach? I will have you know, I have a lot of experience in the teaching field. I have well, several degrees from Facebook Marketplace <laughs> and a couple from Wish. Facebook so, Marketplace, really? Yeah, that's not what people learn. That's what people buy crap. I beg to differ. I actually get most of my facts from Facebook in general. Well, well, that explains why you think Pluto is an actual planet, okay? Hey, not only is Pluto a planet, if you Google it, you'll see Pluto's also the dog of Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Oh my God, <laughs> you are a moron. I mean, this is not a good look at my son's school. It sounds like you're the one with disinformation, sir. So I think we need no, to... No, it's misinformation, not disinformation. <laughs> Look, whatever you'd like to call it, let's just remember who the teacher is. And speaking of yeah, teachers, I, th- I think it's time we call a meeting. Oh, let's do it. I can't wait. Okay. You name the time and place, and I'll beat the crap out of you. Oh. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Yeah, p.m. Yeah, stands for Pacifier Magnesium, by the way. You might want to rethink your career. And Which one? This one or Uber Eats? Yeah, I got a lot of jobs. Yeah, Uber Eats. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And dollars. And free food sometimes. You when know I'm what? really late. You're pissing me off, buddy. You are pissing me off. Okay, well, you know who else is pissed off? It's your ex-wife, because she's the one who set you what? up for this phone call. My ex-wife? What? Yeah, she agrees. Pluto's a planet. We talked. What? Wait, what is going on here? <laughs> no, let me explain, man. Look, I'm Jose from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and we're doing a phone tap on you. 
<laughs> oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. I mean, my son was complaining about the teaching the other day, but I didn't know she was going to put me up to this. Yeah, Aaron did set you up. She said, you know, <laughs> he's not really feeling all the teachers this year, so we figured, hey, why don't we just call up and give some disinformation, huh? <laughs> we'll just spread it all over Facebook. Yeah, you're the substitute teacher. You're the smart one, remember? Yeah. Finally, some respect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>